Hey everybody, it's Kevin and it's time for your two minute training. Let's see what we can learn in two or three minutes. Now you know that we are big supporters of Gordon Graham. Gordon Graham is just one of those eloquent speakers that, that totally gets this profession because of his longevity in this profession. And one of his favorite, favorite terms, is it predictable, then it's preventable. If it's predictable, then it's preventable. You can use this in your everyday life. If you've got no tread on your vehicle and you get a flat tire, well, guess what? It was predictable, it was therefore preventable, but you didn't deal for the tire, you know, didn't take care of the tire, and now you got a flat tire. Well, where's the flat tire in your comm center? Is it a non-compliant call taker? Is it the frustrated call taker? Is it the complacent call taker? Is it the I don't give up, fill in the blank call taker? I'm more concerned about my popcorn in the popcorn popper than I am the caller. Is it the person that blows off calls on a regular basis and does not ask about weapons? Is it the person that says, oh, what does he look like? And the citizen responds, well, I don't know. And they just put an unknown in the call as opposed to saying, okay, well, is it a guy or a gal? Are they tall? Are they short? What color are they? What, you know, what clothing are they wearing? Don't give up. Is the weakest link a, a trainer? that is a little bit on the lazy side and they don't teach you everything that you should know and now you're going out there as a brand new employee and you're not quite ready for the big bad world. Is the weakest link the supervisor who finds themselves out on smoke breaks or uh, fun breaks or not really supervising the floor because they can get away from the console therefore they are getting away from the console and they're not doing what their title says and their title says supervise. Is the weakest link administrative support because a rainbow coalition of trainers and supervisors and whomever have gone into this administrator and said, hey, Kevin can't make it. Kevin can't do the job. Kevin's continually late. Kevin's whatever Kevin is, and I use my name just because it's easier than making up somebody's name and hurting one of your feelings, but to all the Kevins out there, I apologize. Administrators, listen to your people. And if you don't want them to come to you verbally, then have them come to you in a written fashion saying, I'm concerned about Kevin because on event number 2720, he did not get a suspect description. We are only as good as our weakest link. And in today's environment, there's no room for weakest links. You know that everything we do is discoverable, and God forbid some call taker, dispatcher, trainer, or supervisor doesn't do their job, it will be found out in discovery, and now the lawsuit is going to focus on the dispatch center as opposed to where it maybe should otherwise land. Please look for your weakest links, and it's time to fix them. I'm not saying fire people. I'm saying give them a chance to fix their ills. Whatever they're not doing that's so good, let's fix those. We know what the problem is. So it's kind of time for a little bit of a reconstruction job. If you saw mold around your house or saw cracking in your walls or flooding in your basement or something going on with your foundation, guess what? You have the choice to either ignore it or deal with it. Well, if your agency has been ignoring it, eventually the foundation's going to fall. And all you have to do is Google 911 lawsuits and see what pops up. And in every single one of those cases, it was predictable. Now with that information, let's go forward to be better, not frustrated, Go forward and be amazing, and that's your two-minute training for today. Have a great shift.